Java, creating a text file. Java presents you with several different methodologies on how to create a text file. And I want to take you through one of the methodologies of using a buffered writer. So in this example, I set up a, a simple little function to demonstrate how to use a uh, buffered writer to write a file. So in our main here, I got this function here, we're going to call uh, IO create text file. So let's go ahead and go up to that file here, that function, and I'll sort of walk you through the steps. So a quick look at our variables here. We have a string uh, variable here, which we're actually going to store the location of our text file. Okay, so I'm going to save it out on the C drive into this folder here, and this is the file name right here. Then I've got a couple of string variables in which we're going to put in our text. And then I've got a Boolean variable here in which we're going to check the uh, file status. And we're going to talk about that later here in the screencast. So now the first thing that we need to do is exactly like we did when we were creating the directories. And that is we need to create a path. So we're going to call up our path. Okay, we're going to do new path. Okay, this is our name, path new file. You can call this anything that you want. And just like we did with the creating directories, we're going to do paths.get and then we're going to put in our data right here. Do you need to put it in a variable? Uh, no. If you actually ha hard coded it, uh, you could actually put that in. We're going to jump over this section here for a moment and we'll come back that, to that later in the screencast. So let's look at on how we can actually write a file. So the first thing we did is we created that path. So now let's go down to the code where we can actually create the mechanism to write that file. And where we're going to do that is with a buffered writer. So we're actually going to call up here buffered writer. Okay. Follows the same principle here. FW. Okay. You can call this anything you want. Equals. Okay. And then we're going to follow it by this uh, syntax here files.newbufferedwriter. Now, this takes three components. First off, it takes the path, okay? So this is the location and file name that we're writing to. The next thing we want to look at is the character set. So, and we have some several different choices here for that. We have We have the Unicode 8, we have the ASCII, and the Unicode 16. And I'm setting this up here for the Unicode 8. And the last thing we uh, want to look at is how are we going to open this okay, file? So we've got choices here. We have create. okay, And here we have some different choices too, which I have listed here. So we can do create new. What's the difference? Create will open the it will create the file. If there's something there, it will sort of overwrite what they have there at the beginning. Create new means it will go out, and if it sees that a file is there, it will simply fail. It will not try to overwrite that previous file. We have append. Okay, so that means uh, it sees the file out there, and then we're going to add text to the bottom of the file. We have delete on close. So when we close the file writer, it will delete the, that file. Okay, these are great for temp files. Okay, so if you're doing some stuff there and you need to write some stuff out as a temp file, you can do it. So this is pretty handy uh, for writing temp files. And then the last option that we have here is truncate existing. Okay, so what that means is this. If I have a file that's out here, now if I got a bunch of text in there, what it will do is it will still leave the file, but it will delete all the text and then start anew with new text. So let's truncate existing. So that's basically it. This is the the FW is now the mechanism on which we can write the file out there. We can write text to that file. 
I want to point out one more thing on here. Just as we did with the create directories, this needs to be wrapped up in a try and catch statement. So if you'll notice up here, here's our try. And down here is our catch. We can see it right here. Now let me just go ahead and look at this portion of the code right here. Here's where we're going to add some text. So I'm throwing some text into some variables. And here's where we're actually going to write that text to the file. Okay, so here's our file writer. We're going to do a write. Okay, so that's just like a system uh, print. Okay, there's no line return. So that just prints one straight line of text. When it's done, the cursor's sitting here. If I need to bring that down to a new line, we'll do our file writer new line and what that will do is that I'll drop the cursor down and put the cursor and start writing the file right there so we can then continue writing our text and this is uh, yeah, a next example here we're still going to use the write but if you're on a Windows okay if you're writing out to a Windows uh, machine on that and you wanted to uh, use some escape characters to create a new line what you're going to do here is this combination right here okay the escape R and the escape N. Okay, so that stands for return and new line. Okay, so on a Windows uh, file system, on that you have to use both of these. It, uh, they will not work separately. You can't have just one or the other. You have to have them both. Okay, and then lastly, after we've written the stuff out, we want to clear the buffer, so we're flushing it right here. And I just got this set up in a, in a simple for statement. So basically what this does is it goes out and it's going to write this, these two lines of text, 10 times. And then when it's done, we're going to come down here to FW close. Okay, so when we're done with our file writer, we want to close that. Okay, it closes the resources, frees those resources up, and we're done. So that's how you can write text out to a text file. You basically use the new buffered writer. Okay, so what you do then is you um, basically you create the you create a path. You then create your buffered writer. And then to actually write the um, text out to your file, you'll use your commands of write. And if you need to put a new line, you'll do new line. When you're done with uh, each write, you should flush the buffer. And then when you're all done, you want to close it. Okay, so you do the path, you create the uh, buffer writer. You can write out to it, you can create a new line, flush it when you're done, close it when you're done. That's it. Now, I want to uh, take you through one more scenario on this. Up at the top here, we can do this thing here. We can actually check to see if there's a file already out there and what the status is of that file. So I've created a Boolean okay, called File Check. Now the first thing to do if we're going to actually check the status of the file, you still have to create the path first. Now, I've got three criteria here I'm going to check here. First off, is it a regular file? Okay, so is it, you know, an actual file? It's not a shortcut. It's not an alias. Okay, it's an actual real file. So that's the first thing we're checking here. The next thing, the next thing we're looking at, is it readable? Okay, so can I read and write to it? Then, well actually, is it readable? Can we access it? Uh, and then the last part here is executable, meaning can I write to it? So does it exist? Okay. Can we read it? Can we write to it? 
So that's what this does. And so all three of these will return a Boolean. So if all three of these, these are going to be true or false values. So this is what's sort of cool on how you can use this file check. Do you have to use all three of these? No. If you just want to see if it's a regular file out there, that's if that's all you need, just use the one. So this is how we can use those. I'm going to adjust my code here. So I've basically commented out what we've done before here. This section of code right here. I've just commented this part out. And now we can look at what we're doing here. So the first thing we do, once again, it has to be within a try and catch. So we're including this in the try. But we're going to uh, separate our buffered writer. We're going to actually do buffered writer, name it, and then we're going to say it's to null. Okay, so we're not going to give it exactly where it's at just yet. So we're going to look, wrap this sort of around a if statement. So if this check right here, if the check is true, okay, meaning there's a file already out there, okay, and in, in my program, I've determined that if a file's already out there and I don't want to overwrite that, I want to append to it, this is what we can do there. So if it's true, I'm going to set up our file writer right here, fw equals, just like we did below. Files, new buffered writer, just like we did below. Here's the path. Here's the character set. But look here. I'm going to make the option of append. I'm going to add content to the end of it. Otherwise, if this file check came out false, okay, meaning there is no file, okay, there's nothing out there, we're going to set up our file writer, okay, files, new buffered writer. Here's the path, okay, here's our character set. But look here, we're actually just going to go ahead and create that file. So that's one way you can use those file checks to see whether or not, hey, do I want to append to a file or do I want to create a brand new one? So that's basically how you can write a file. I mean, there's basically three, four steps involved. First step is you create a path. Okay, the second part of that is then you create your file writer. So you're going to use the buffered writer followed by the files new buffered writer. So this actually creates our writer. Then we're going to write out to the file. If I need to put a new line in there, I can do new line. As soon as I'm done writing that out, I want to flush the buffer. And then when I'm all completely done, I want to close my file, file writer. So we define a path, we create the writer, we write out our text, I need to put a new line in there, we've used new line. As soon as we're done writing that, we clear the buffer. And when we're all completely done, we close. Those are the steps on how you can write uh, a text out to a text file using a buffered writer.